Here is Pierre Polyev. He is the, if you're not watching, if you're not in Canada watching this, he is the leader of the Conservative Party of, of Canada. He's currently about 20 points up on Justin Trudeau. If the election were held today, he would win by a landslide, majority government. Um, unfortunately, the election, it doesn't look like it'll be till late 2025. But anyway, things are looking good right now. So he is playing a different role than the last couple of conservative leaders, part, leaders of the Conservative Party of Canada. I'm not going to say he's he's Trumpian, but he's he's not just sitting back and taking, he's not hiding from their accusations. He's confronting them. He's being aggressive. And I think it's exactly what he needs to do. And I'm loving watching it. So let's take a look at this. Hello, Mr. Polyev. Um, a number of your own comments and actions have been um, characterized as dog whistling to By the who? far right. By who? by a number of by different who? but i think it's been by characterized who? by that way but by are who? you trying to court are, I, I are you trying to, to court I need to clarify, the right sorry vote? i just need to clarify by who by a number by of different experts and a number of different people who, who work who, who, who are the work experts? in this okay well i think right. it's been established that right. this is this is a, a concern I, I, are not, you trying to court the far right vote i sorry I, who are these experts you say that there are experts who are saying this who are they my question is, are you trying to court the sorry, far right I, vote? I'm sorry, the, your question uh, seems to be based on a false premise. You can't even uh, tell me who these experts are. It sounds like it's just a CBC smear job. Thank you. But, it, but what about the question about whether that's the, the answer the is that I'm, I have a common sense agenda to ax the carbon tax, bring home powerful paychecks, clear the way to build affordable homes, to put, those, uh, put people uh, in housing that they, they can afford, that is a common sense, mainstream Canadian agenda. And I know that Justin Trudeau's supporters are so desperate to distract from that because his political career is falling apart. So we're seeing, uh, we're seeing an attempt here to distract and protect Justin Trudeau uh, from his extremely unpopular carbon taxes and other failing policies. But we won't let him or, his, um, or, or others distract from that reality. So thank you. So you're not going to answer question. that question? See, he's playing that exactly right. He's not playing their game. It's all about framing, right? They're immediately trying to just attach that far right label to him, that mythical Canadian far right, whatever that is. <laughs> Macross 2012 says, the Canadian Trump, shut up, fake news. I think what he's borrowed from Trump is just the, the courage right to not just allow himself to be to be framed essentially i mean what they're trying to do with those questions is frame him they're trying to put him on the defensive what what did they say hello mr Polyev. um a number of your own comments and actions have been um characterized as dog whistling to by the who? far right by who dog whistling to the far right now they're so used like these these media figures they're so used to having conservatives on the defensive immediately as soon as they start trying to label them like that that and just and when they're playing you know playing their political framing games right always trying to frame it as being unfavorable to whoever the conservative is right that they're so used to just having their way with this that as you can see they're completely helpless when it doesn't work i mean they're too lazy to even memorize their bullshit sources you know, although probably, probably the sources are just like random Twitter users, right? <laughs> and maybe the you know, things people said at dinner parties that they went to. But you can see they're completely helpless. They're so lazy and useless that they just have nothing. They just frame, try and frame them. They try and cast that spell on them, right? It's supposed to make, supposed to, again, the magic spell, which is supposed to shroud his brain in confusion and fear. So he'll just go, oh, yeah, well, no, I'm, blah, blah, blah. He, he's not playing the game, and that's the right thing to do. Don't humor them. Don't give them that power. They're going to do it every fucking time anyway, no matter what No matter what he says. That's the game. These are true and on. Let's see what the comments have to say about this. Let's see. Well, this, myth, this mythical far right that's in Canada, right, that Trudeau's always trying to terrify us with. Oh, Trudeau let us know, by the way, that, um, you know, parents that are worried about, uh, you know, their teachers keeping secrets about their kids' health in school, you know, about uh, schools socially transitioning their 
eight-year-olds or their six-year-olds at school and not telling the parents? Uh, Trudeau's informed us that those, those parents that are worried about that, they're far right. Turns out they're all far right Nazis. Huh. I would have just thought they were just concerned parents with extremely reasonable concerns. No, no. Trudeau's let us know. No, that's far right. That's actually, he's always, he's always uh, appealing to this idea that there's this, this scary specter of, of uh, American far right MAGA influencing everybody, you know? influencing parents, misinforming parents, you know, who should want schools to be transing their kids without their knowledge. You don't want to be far right, do you? As was the case with Stephen Harper, some, not all, in the media detest Pierre Polyev. They do. They make it clear. You can hear it in the tone when they ask the questions. And as in the 2000s, they will go to great lengths to try to discredit him. It worked fairly well in 2013, 2015. What we face is the reality that common sense is not so common. Liberal NDP supporters tend to believe the government will pay for and fix the problems. From that perspective, it's impossible to see that the government created and is the problem. Exactly. I love it when they pulled out the experts, the experts, but then have a mouthful of teeth when pressed you know, the word expert has been taken and it's taken a real beating the last few years, hasn't it? Doesn't seem to mean what it used to mean. 